two things I want to talk to you about today, and they both have to do with your backup strategy as you're working on your Adobe Captivate projects. The first is a feature that's built into Adobe Captivate that not everyone knows, um, and it's really important that you turn it on, but also a strategy, a best practice, if you will, that you can implement yourself uh, when working with your Adobe Captivate projects. So the first thing is, let's say I'm working on this project here and I'm going to hit save and save this to my desktop. Normally I save it to um, a folder uh, somewhere on my hard drive, but for today's purposes, we're just using my desktop. So this first strategy is simply adding today's date to the file name of your project. So in this case here, uh, this is the ergonomics course, and I'm gonna use the date 2018-1009. And that way, of course, if uh, later on I need to get the latest version of a project, and of course I end up with multiple copies of a project, I can be sure that based on the date, I'm using the most up-to-date version of this e-learning course. So that's my first strategy. Again, sort of a best practice. I'm gonna save this to my desktop here. Now, the problem is, is that if something happens to this file and I close Captivate without saving my changes or if, if everything gets blown away, uh, of course, I'm SOL. So in this case here, this is a feature built into Captivate that allows you to create backups automatically. You can access it from the edit drop down menu and go all the way down to the bottom where it says preferences. Alternatively, you can press shift F8. And of course, if you're using a Mac, you'll find this uh, under the Adobe Captivate drop down menu. So let's go into the preferences window here. Now, in the category of general settings, uh, you'll see a list of options that are available for you. This one here is the one I'm interested in, Generate Project Backup. So check this option. I strongly encourage everyone to do this, and then click on OK. Now what's going to happen is that when you save your project from this point moving forward, it's going to take a copy of whatever's there already, and create a BAK file, a backup file, if you will. So that even if you lose your most recent save, you'll always have the save that occurred just before. And if you follow a strategy of clicking save about once every hour, the worst case scenario is, is that you'll lose only an hour's worth of work rather than days or even weeks worth of work. So I'm gonna make a small change to this project now which will uh, create uh, an opportunity for me to press save once again. And I'll press save, and I just want you to watch what happens here on my desktop. So I'm gonna press save, and it updates this file, but before it does so, it's created this BAK file. So again, if I close down Captivate and something happens to this version of the file, I can just simply rename this file with the proper file extension. In other words, remove the .bak part of the file name, and then I'll have an Adobe Captivate project that I can now continue to work from. Yes, I'll lose maybe some of the work that I've done most recently, but it will be the closest thing to the most up-to-date copy. And of course, with the original file destroyed, at least you'll have something to work from. If you thought this video was useful, please share it with your colleagues. If you need help with your next e-learning project, consider hiring me. My focus is to create effective e-learning that helps you achieve your business goals. Visit my website at CaptivateTeacher.com, follow me on Twitter at PaulWilsonLD, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.